you know this uh, vegetable you know these, all these saturated compounds we were talking about saturated and unsaturated so alkynes and alkenes are unsaturated and alkanes are saturated now you must have heard about unsaturated fats and saturated fats if you recall behind these butter packets and all you will have unsaturated fat this much saturated fat this much and like that it will be written so this actually means that unsaturated fats are the fats containing double and triple bond fats generally have a very complicated structure but unsaturated means they contain double and triple bonds and saturated fats contain only single bonds so and saturated fats are unhealthy because they increase the cholesterol level and all and you should generally not consume too much of saturated fat unsaturated fat is a bit i mean it is 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 healthier than saturated fats so you know this dalda is actually saturated fat it's very unhealthy for us not i mean it's unhealthy in large amounts in small amounts it's okay so to make this dalda they simply carry out an addition reaction they have a double bond that is an unsaturated fat they just add hydrogen in presence of nickel or any other catalyst and they break this double bond to make it a single bond so this dalda is prepared in this simple way so whenever you encounter butter packets or stuff with saturated fats you try to avoid them as much as possible now our next type of reaction is called substitution substitution reaction now again as the name suggest in this reaction something is substituted for something a uh, one atom substitutes another atom that means comes in place of another atom so basically in this reaction suppose you have an alkene which is methane and you add chlorine gas in presence of sunlight this actually what it does this is methane this chlorine gas comes and removes one of the hydrogens and there is one bond left and it will come and fill up this bond so basically it is ch3 cl and this removed hydrogen you see it's cl2 so it's cl and cl so and only one chlorine atom is adding on to this carbon so this one chlorine atom remains which is not adding and this hydrogen atom which has gone out is also free now this hydrogen and this chlorine atom they combine to form hydrochloric acid so this 
produces a molecule of hydrochloric acid. So basically, when you want to determine the product of substitution reaction of methane, you just draw it like this, take a CLCL bond and remove this HCl. Just take out HCl from both the molecules and the remaining thing is your other product which is CH3 and this Cl will get attached to this carbon. And what is this compound? Its IUPAC name will be chloromethane. Now, actually, and huh, this sunlight is the catalyst over here. See, you know, this making these boxes is not the actual way the reaction proceeds. It's just, the, it's not like H comes near Cl and they go out and the Cl is attached to this. This is just for your, for making it easier for you. But what actually happens is that this sunlight is responsible for breaking this chlorine-chlorine bond. And so this one chlorine atom goes and attaches to this carbon atom and one chlorine atom forms hydrochloric acid. So this is actually responsible for breaking this chlorine-chlorine bond. Now, if you have chlorine in excess, it will carry out a further chain of reactions. This CH3Cl or chloromethane what now you have you still have chlorine gas remaining because it is in excess only one mole is consumed now this chlorine gas will again add to this uh, will again not add to this substitute another hydrogen of this compound so basically this product becomes the reactant over here sunlight is already there and chlorine is also present in excess so the reaction can be carried out so what it will do again it will this chlorine will go and substitute another hydrogen over here and that hydrogen will form the bond with the remaining chlorine so this that means two chlorines are there now so it's ch2 cl2 and hcl is again formed in this reaction and what is this compound called there are two chlorines and it's methane so it's di chloro methane 